Two days ago, a very popular Utah tennis pro was seriously hurt in a helicopter crash in a remote part of eastern Russia while on a hella skiing adventure. Mike Traber broke his neck and a couple of ribs in that crash. Well, now, his new special Jed Bull shows us his family is desperately trying to get him home to get the medical care that he needs. Jed? Yeah, Mike. Mike Trabert's family quickly discovered that getting him home won't be easy and it will be very expensive. Trabert has been an elite tennis coach and an elite tennis player for more than 40 years, nearly 20 years here as the director of the Salt Lake Tennis Club. Now, as word spreads of Trabert's predicament, friends are reaching out to help. He's an extreme athlete. Mike Trabert competes at a high level in tennis, running, and cycling. It is amazing. Um, we actually kind of, we tease him, we call him the freak of nature. He's the son of American tennis legend, Tony Trabert, ranked number one in the world in the 1950s. Mike Trabert's wife and sister tell me he's in a league all his own. But he's never been injured either. In all the years, all his sports, they were broken a bone. Yeah. Nothing. Until Tuesday. Trabert's wife got a call from his ski buddy in Russia. Mike's been hurt. We're in the emergency room. And, uh, I mean, my heart just sunk. He heliskis each year with the same company out of France. He loves it. This is his favorite thing. This year, Russia. They, they did crash land, but the engine was off, so there was no explosion. Trabert spoke to his wife briefly before they took him into intensive care. And he said it was, it was bad. We crashed and rolled. Trabert was hit in the head by a large cooler. Broken neck, broken ribs, but no neurological damage. He climbed out of the helicopter. When you have a neck injury, you don't move anybody. So the fact, it's a miracle that he's okay. According to Russian news, Trabert was one of two ski tourists hospitalized after the crash, caused by a failed landing gear. He just said, this is, this is pretty scary. He said, nobody speaks English. At the tennis club. He's one of the, he's one of the finest tennis players his age in the country. Close friend Rick Folger is concerned, but optimistic. I'm worried about his health. I'm worried about his ability to get back to the life because I've never met anybody quite like Mike. We need to get him on American soil, being taken care of by American doctors. They need a private medical transport plane, about $100,000. They're exploring all options. His wife tells me doctors at the University of Utah Hospital are waiting. I've had a few tears along the way, but we've got a focus now, and our focus is to just get him here. Now, the family has been amazed by the support and the love that people are showing for Mike. A friend has started a GoFundMe account to help raise money for the medical transport. We put a link to that online at KSL.com. Yeah, hopefully you can get him back here very soon. Jed, thank you. Deanie?